We didn't accomplish what we wanted to accomplish as far as winning the championship. And everybody there, we tried our hardest every day, regardless of what was going on in the media, what was going on with our teammates. I wish them the best going forward. They got a bright future. Doesn't have a timeout, got to get it in. Here's Joe Johnson, LeBron James on him. And John, trying to get it in, he cannot! In terms of wins and losses, what the record's going to be, they're not predicting playoffs, but definitely that's something I'm sure that would be really great for them to achieve. But it's just about going out, really being competitive. Marks is the architect, Kenny Atkinson, the sculptor. They started at the bottom, now they're here. We go hard is their mantra. It's also the rally cry of you, the fans. Your team is back in the playoffs. To get to Brooklyn and all my family is nearby. The connection runs deep in terms of being around and all these boroughs, being in Jersey, and just having the connection to the Nets um, since I was a kid. It's been a dream come true. Kevin Durant is going to sign with the Nets four years, $164 million. He will join Kyrie Irving and then DeAndre Jordan. Durant is very likely to sit out the entire season Joseph Tsai plans to buy the 51% of the Brooklyn Nets he does not already own for a record $2.35 billion. The deal is expected to be announced this week and would be the biggest sale ever for a sports franchise. Has some great options on the table with some championship winning organizations, some smart business minds behind the scenes as well that I could have built with uh, along the, around the league. But I couldn't make a bad decision, but you know, this one was the perfect one for me. I remain shocked over this. In the end, it was about Kyrie and friendship, as you say. Kevin's still too young to opt for just friendship. Kevin Durant just made a huge mistake to me. Irving gets the rebound, and now he gets tied up, and it's gonna be a jump ball with Beal and Irving. And Irving is down. Kyrie Irving. Mutually agreed to, to part ways. That was announced by the team just a few minutes ago. The Nets are seventh place in the East right now. They're six games under 500, though. They also don't have Kyrie for the rest of the season. And when you look at the Eastern Conference, with him and a healthy Kyrie Irving, the Brooklyn Nets next year are going to be title contenders. I didn't say playoff contenders. I said title contenders. The Toronto Raptors have posted their first ever playoff series sweep in their 25-year history as they eliminate the Brooklyn Nets. I love to compete. Uh, I love to teach, to lead, and to be a part of a team. And so to be in a position where I can do all those things, while I haven't necessarily publicly stated a desire to coach, I could be the head coach one day, you can be, it's just, we can coexist. No, Kyrie, he's the coach. You're the player, mm -hmm. and you're not the best player on the team. And at the end of the game, you're not the best player on the team. Katie's better than you, and Steve Nash is your coach. By the time May rolls around, do I think he's gonna be 100%? Yes, I'm not worried about KD in the slightest. He's gonna average at least 25, he's gonna be just fine. Poster, welcome to the league. Here's Durant, yes. Nice move by Durant. Yes, again for Kevin Durant. Pro to get to the other side. Good play. Dinwiddie, Durant. And Dinwiddie hit the deck hard on his right knee. Dinwiddie may have to come out of the game. This dude is just on another level. Kevin Durant is winning the league MVP because Brooklyn is going to be one of the top three seeds in the Eastern Conference. But it's also blatantly disrespectful to his team, his new head coach, and his new management. The birthday party, I don't know. It looks like there are a lot of people there, right. but it's a little dark. James Harden reportedly being traded from Houston to Brooklyn. Harden making it clear after last night's game that it was fun while it lasted Houston, like the city, but hate the direction of the organization, cannot play with this team. As far as I'm concerned, it's, it's, it's finals or bust. Uh, you, uh, you assemble lethal weapon three, which is what we could easily call them right now. There's simply no excuse not to come out of the East uh, and advance to the NBA finals. There really is not an excuse. 
This is what Kevin Durant, James Harden, and Kyrie Irving are accustomed to doing to other teams throughout their careers. What a game tonight here from downtown Cleveland. Harden goes baseline and scores. We're going to talk about KD, who's going to miss at least two more games for the Brooklyn Nets with a left hamstring strain. The team announced that yesterday. Brooklyn called the strain mild, but said in a statement that Durant will be out today against Sacramento. I just looked at him and I said, you're the point guard and I'm going to play shooting guard. And that was as simple as that. He's been taking control of the responsibilities and doing an incredible job. And it just makes my job easier to just go out and play, play free and just make plays. If you are the number one or the number two option, which he has been throughout his basketball career, and suddenly you are not even a third option. Oh, by the way, because they got the most, they got lethal weapon three in Brooklyn. They have continued to win games, even though Kevin Durant has been out. Kyrie Irving has been out in stretches. James Harden is now out. We do expect Kevin Durant to be back in the lineup, finally, after being out with his own hamstring issue for a couple months. Irving gets inside. Oh, beautiful move from Kyrie Irving. Westbrook is now 7 of 11 from the field. Oh, Durant! Nets force the turnover. Harden. Oh, what a bounce for Green! James Harden! Brooklyn. It's finally time. Playoff time. The time this Nets team was built to dominate. The expectation is very, very clear. Win a championship. Win it all. Or bust. It's the end of the line for the Boston Celtics as the Brooklyn Nets will advance to round two. A 123-109 victory. And in five games, the Nets will advance. James Harden looks like he's going back to the locker room appearing to injure his right hamstring. Now, keep in mind, Harden lost 21 games this season due to a right hamstring injury, including a pair of games late in the season. From downtown the other night, here's Durant, but it moves, crossover on Giannis, and hits! Plus the foul! And KD get into his bag, find his rhythm, draws the foul. Boy, this is a very physical game. As Irving throws it in, goes down hard on his on his right shoulder. As Kyrie Irving holding that right shin and banging the court. The crush the defense by the walking out. The red fire and hits with the shot clock running down. He hits from downtown. Four point lead for the Nets. Here is Durant moving on Tucker. He turns. He shoots. Yes. Durant for three comes up with an air ball. Spencer Dinwiddie has signed a three year, $62 million deal with the Washington Wizards. The seven year vet partially tore his ACL last season with the Nets and played in just three games. You must win. If KD on this Brooklyn team going into next season with this crew comes up short, and coming up short means not winning a championship, that's a failure for KD. Patty Mills led Australia to the bronze. Mm -hmm. Paul Millsap at 36 can still ball. Oh, ho! Oh, you Warrior. see what you did? Oh, Warrior. so now all of a sudden mm -hmm. Paul Millsap at yep. 36 can ball. Yep. New York City's vaccine mandate requires a person to have proof of at least one COVID-19 vaccine shot to enter indoor gyms, including the Barclays Center. He won't be able to rejoin the team until he is fully vaccinated. Don't believe that I'm retiring. Don't believe that, you know, I'm going to give up this game uh, for a vaccine mandate. What would you do? You know, if, if you felt uncomfortable going into the season. The contract, the money is, is going to be there. Um, you know, I'm planning on leaving, you know, this organization um, and, and the situation that we have. So my focus, honestly, is just focusing on, on the season and, and winning a championship. Around the entire floor, Harden sees a save and yaks it down! A left-hand hammer from the beard! Who's got the keys? Catch a body, James! I knew the consequences. Uh, I wasn't prepared for them by no stretch of imagination. You know, coming into the season, uh, I had my thought process on, on being able to a full-time teammate and, and just go out and have fun. And Jones will come away with it for the Pelicans. Jones just speeds into Bruce Brown. And uh-oh, Durant got hit on the knee. And Durant grabbing at his left knee and wincing. Still rubbing that left knee. 
they still got Kevin Durant on their roster, if they still have James Harden on their roster, at the end of the day, that's what we're judging. You're going to have stretches where you don't play well, where things just don't align, a tough stretch, guys out. So should you worry? No. James Harden wants a trade to the Philadelphia 76ers. He wants it to happen today prior to the trade deadline, but he has resisted formally requesting that trade with the Nets. The Brooklyn Nets, they are trading James Harden to Philadelphia for Ben Simmons, Seth Curry, Andre Drummond, Woo. and two first round picks, sources tell ESPN. The Nets are including Paul Millsap in the deal too. I'm looking forward to finishing the season out with these new group and these new players. And, you know, it's uh, playoffs right around the corner, so we got to fast track into, you know, getting getting used to each other. But I'm, I'm excited. You know, I think everybody got what they wanted. What has kept Ben Simmons out of the lineup, unable to get back on the court for the Nets? It's an irritation of the L4 disc in his lower spine. Ben Simmons has been able to have a couple good days and then a setback and then a reset. The Nets have gone from a potential spoiler to a potential contender. But they're one of the best teams in the league when they're on the road with Kyrie. They go from the number 26 offense at home this year to the number one offense. Indiana's four or five from long range. Durant's got 11. Craig goes down. Durant is going to highlight. KD doing damage from the perimeter. And the Brooklyn Nets will advance into the playoffs. They'll advance as a seven seed in a matchup with the two seed, the Boston Celtics. The Brooklyn Nets are about to beat the Boston Celtics in seven games in Boston. It's a two-man show, except this two-man show is simply the greatest two-man perimeter show we've seen in the history of basketball. Tatum drives in and throws it down, and that will do it. Something special's going on in Boston with these Celtics as Curry knocks down the three, and the Celtics take a 3 nothing lead in this opening round. Ben Simmons is a terrific player, but at no point in this year have we seen him say, I'm going to do this for someone other than myself. That's what champions do. Uh, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, head into the offseason. Not a single game decided by more than seven points, but all four belong to the Boston Celtics. After getting swept in the first round, this Brooklyn Nets team will forever be remembered as a cautionary tale. This Brooklyn Nets team is justice for basketball. The Nets are going to be hesitant about giving Irving a long-term contract extension with the team due to his injury history and vaccination status. Irving has a $36.5 million option that he can decline this summer. As far as where this roster goes during the regular season, I think certainly if they get off to a slow start, we'll hear, we'll hear be hearing a lot about Brooklyn, uh, a player on an expiring contract. He could be traded right up until the February. I think that it's the right move for Kevin Durant to make because being paired with Kyrie Irving um, has been nothing short of a migraine and it got to a point where he had to make a move because in the end, Kevin Durant was looking very, very bad. Kevin Durant, who recently met with Nets owner Joe Tsai, reiterated his desire to be traded. He suggested the franchise needed to choose between him and coach Steve Nash and general manager Sean Marks. Well, there was a lot of uncertainty around our team last year. I committed to this organization for four years. I felt like another year of that, us being healthy, we were looking, we we're building something towards the future. Seeing what happened with our season. Should the Nets be favorites in the East? The Brooklyn Nets could easily come out of the Eastern Conference. I just think that Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant are two superstars. They are unstoppable offensive forces. That's it, the quota for Ben Simmons, number six. In his Nets debut, he has fouled out. 23 minutes of action, four points, five rebounds, five assists. We're so sick of talking about Kyrie from last season, right? Dealing with the vaccinations and his logic. And again, here we are again, him trying to apply Kyrie logic to something that is pretty straightforward. It is an anti-Semitic film. First of all, Steve Nash is a scapegoat. 
let's get that out of the way. Steve Nash is a scapegoat for these players acting like idiots and fools. It's 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 really starting to be a joke. This whole Brooklyn. Uh, hiring a coach who was under suspension in Boston. Too disruptive uh, for a team that is trying to find some stability. But the idea of Ime Adoka, ultimately, it was too much for this organization. Kyrie Irving apologizes, but only after being suspended for at least five games. The star posted on Instagram, I am grateful to have a big platform to share knowledge, and I want to move forward by having an open dialogue to learn more and grow from this. Look at our starting lineup, Edmund Sumner. Royce O'Neal, Joe Harris, Claxton, and me. It's not disrespect, <laughs> no. but oh, what are no, you expecting from that group? You expect us to win because I'm out there. Two seconds left. Irving stops, takes, and hits. Kyrie Irving delivers the victory at the buzzer. They vaulted all the way up to second in the conference. They're finally playing the basketball that we sort of all expected them to be playing here. It's just an incredible turnaround. When is basketball going to take the forefront? Because they've always had the talent. Butler turns the corner, met by Simmons. Loose ball, Warren after to the Nets, come away with it. And Kevin Durant is down. Kevin Durant is down, grabbing at his right knee. This is Kyrie Irving, a guy that you cannot trust. Didn't Kyrie Irving just say that Kevin Durant is his best friend? So where's the loyalty? If that's your best friend, I don't want that. Give me an enemy. They're effectively giving up on their season. It is not a bad haul for Brooklyn, given the circumstances and given the fact that Kyrie had not only said he wanted to be traded, but in the last two hours, the reporting had come out that he might sit if he wasn't moved. We have no intention of trading Durant. I think Durant has been told that by the organization. You know, this is an organization that wants to keep building around Kevin Durant, wants to win with him, has him under contract for multiple years. A mammoth a trade from the NBA before the deadline. It's Kevin Durant heading out of Brooklyn. Durant dealt to the Phoenix Suns just days after the Nets dealt Kyrie Irving. We didn't accomplish what we wanted to accomplish as far as winning a championship. And everybody there, we tried our hardest every day, regardless of what was going on in the media, what was going on with our teammates. I wish them the best going forward. They got a bright future.